The virtual project is about uh, open source uh, human body models uh, for virtual testing uh, for improving uh, road safety for all road users. Uh, Oscar project is a big European funded uh, research project uh, focused on vehicle safety issues, especially uh, future relevant vehicle safety aspects like new sitting positions in automated uh, vehicles, stuff like that. We are focusing a lot on further development of human body models. And most important, and uh, that's related to today's workshop a little bit, is uh, virtual testing related issues and requirements coming from that. Virtual testing is the future, uh, simply because the crash test dummies that we've been used to working with for decades this has limitations in biofidelity, anatomy and that stuff. And now we're moving forward, we need virtual testing. Uh, we know that uh, the low hanging fruit when it comes to safety has already been taken by introduction of crash tests in the regulation, consumer testing and so on. But now with the uh, advent of uh, automated driving, the situations that we will have to deal with are becoming much more difficult. But using a human body, we can simulate various crash scenarios and we can represent various occupant body sizes and the pedestrian body sizes and of course ages and gender. So we can, we can cover a wide range. The goal of the workshop that we had today on virtual testing was to, to gather the world's experts and stakeholders in virtual testing. And we, we did this uh, in a combination of, of uh, presentations and uh, small group discussions to gather the thoughts and ideas that we have in the whole community. Well, the workshop today was really looking at uh, bringing all the experts together from the various fields that have some sort of relationship with virtual testing. Today I think the most learning thing for me is to see the big crowd of people engaged in the same topic. And that makes me so happy because then I understand we can actually fix this because we're all working aligned with each other. We, we have some different roles, of course, but we have about the same mindset. There are a lot of challenges to get the virtual testing actually in place. There are challenges on the physical side, how to get measurements of vehicles that, that are sufficient to input to the virtual testing. But there's also a broader perspective, which is that society, the regulators, uh, the consumers have to be willing to accept virtual testing. So it's on us to make sure that we can present the validation data so that they know that these answers are real. So the major challenges I see is how to overcome the problem that the models that we're going to test our IP of the manufacturers and how these models can be transferred to a testing agency or how we can other in another way build trust in the results that the manufacturers provide. And there are so many uh, aspects that we need to uh, consider before we can actually say uh, virtual testing is ready to be used in an environment like regulation or vehicle testing. Or, or consumer testing. And so this workshop was really unique in the way that uh, we had all these experts here and uh, that we could really understand where the main challenges are and also what type of research is currently, currently done to, to really help answer these questions that we need to answer. Thank you all for attending and participating in this uh, nice workshop today. I think we can say that it was uh, quite successful as our two main problems were that we had too few seats and to less time as there were so many interesting things to discuss. In case you have missed the workshop today, just check out our website and stay updated for upcoming things and publications.